All right, we got a tree in the way here. Uh, Lizzie, what's she doing? Hall and four steel. All oh, right, there's 250. They will carry 75 of most things at once. Um, yeah, that will connect them, but it's nighttime. Cool. I could go to the effort of getting all my lights on a switch system so that when it's night, I can just get someone to flick the switch and turn them all off. But that seems like a pain in the ass, and it costs a lot of steel. You used to be able to, when you ripped up power conduits, you used to be able to get the steel back, but now you don't. So all of this stuff is kind of permanent. Ooh, cargo pods. First cargo pods is Neutramine. Nice. You need that to make medicine and drugs. It's a pretty good find. Well, pretty good lucky delivery from the sky. These potatoes are 62% finished. They are simple, highly, nutri highly nutritious tubers. Yummy. Make sure we cut these trees down so we can build the wall. And a boom rat is on his way in. Nice. That's that's always fun to have hanging around a wooden wall. We've finished researching passive coolers. Now I've got to decide what I want next. We could go with carpet. That is high on the priorities. I'm going to go with refining. Um, actually, I'll just check. I'm pretty sure refining lets me build a smeltery. Alright, not a clue. Maybe that's smithing. Alright. No clue. Um, but a re refinery, I think that's what it's called. I should be able to melt down guns and steel slag into steel. So that way I won't have to mine it. And these drop pods dropped two steel slag chunks, which should be 20 steel. I'm pretty sure they're 10 each, unless that's changed. But I don't think it has. I've issued the deadfalls to be installed. Now they take 70 wood each. So that is quite a lot. Not going to do the quick math right now. Okay, I kind of want to. But I can edit out how long this actually takes me. So it's 700. What the hell is 7 times 7? It's like 49, right? Um, okay, what's 70 minus 21? Yeah, 49. So 700 plus 490, 1,190 wood. Wow, I do not have that much. That took me longer than I wanted it to. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to need to cut some more trees down. And I might as well just get that ordered right now. Um, get some poplars. Right, Lauer is actually prioritizing the deadfalls. And... I'm not sure the priority system, I mean, I can see why security comes before other stuff. But the issue is, if these walls aren't finished, they're just probably going to go around the deadfalls. Now, my guys won't step on them. Well, I think they can actually accidentally step on them, but they will sort of weave in and out, and animals can actually walk right through. So wild animals will just saunter on in, and when they do, we'll probably shoot them just because I don't want my potatoes being eaten. I want to eat those potatoes. I am going to hold this door open. Now that just means, let's see here, it stays open. I put doors on every building just for security purposes. If we get overrun, it means every room can be used as another line of defense. But right now it's just slowing us down. Not by much, but when you're going back and forth so much, it adds up and building is taking a long time. Especially these deadfalls, they take um, 24 work, which actually isn't that much. A wall takes two, though, so 12 wall pieces is the same as one deadfall. So that'll add up, and how much is the floor? Two as well. So all of this stuff should be relatively quick, but the deadfall is going to take a long time. This bloody boom rat. Oh, I want to shoot this little guy. Ooh. All right. Fate heard me. It's raining. We're getting the guns out and we're taking out these boom rats. Um, yeah, you two just shoot him there. Why not? 
Um, <laughs> so that that will actually damage everything, but we can we can repair. Uh, I'll just get a hunt order on that guy, and Chef, please go out and shoot him. Now, if these Boomalope, they are still around, it would be a good idea to kill them. And you can do it when it's not raining, but you'll need people there to put the fires out. But like you saw, that Boomalope went mad. That can be a really horrible thing to happen. So I like to clean up around the base at least. There we go, nice shot. And the rain is putting the fires out for me. But Lauer is asleep again, so we're just going to speed right through. We're pretty much just following the story of one person. And, ooh, a bulk goods trader. That's quite the group. And are these llamas? Alpacas. Close enough. Who's my social person? I've already forgotten. Lauer, okay. So I might not have the greatest memory in the world. You probably picked up on that by now. I hate when they hang out outside. And I swear, I don't know if it's because it's considered a home area. They're like, oh, we're in the colonist home area. Cool, we'll just stand out here. But even when I take the home area away, they always bloody stand outside. Look, you guys are allowed in. I'm not some crazy ass xenophobe. Oh my god. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Cargo pods on max speed are terrifying. Sounds like artillery coming in. I could buy some steel. Now, I've got 800 silver. Um, but there's plenty of steel around the map. Oh, components. I only have five of those. So, holy mother of god. They've got 35 of them. I don't need that many. I'm gonna buy 10. Now, that's quite a lot. But, uh, make sure these get picked up. If it's raining, I'm pretty sure stuff deteriorates more quickly. Ooh, corn. Nice. Alright. Time to haul some corn, guys. Actually. Oh, she was gonna eat. Well, sorry, mate. We got corn to pick up. Uh, but I'm, I'm willing to spend a lot of money on components because I can run out of them pretty quickly. And now I can take apart these ship chunks and that'll give me steel and components. Uh, Lizzie... Bleh, I bit my tongue. Lizzie, thank you for getting the corn, and Chef's getting the rest. Nice. And flower is up now, so we're gonna get some building done. Okay. Once she's finished that, and... Okay, yeah. I'm going to get her to do this stuff now, because we've got a fair few defenses in place. I want to get this built. I might accidentally wall in a couple alpacas. I wonder what would happen, actually. If I attack them, they'll hate me. But what if they just mysteriously starve to death? You know, they, they were the ones who tr tried to stand outside. They were the ones who got stuck. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Wait. Building rubble? Did she bloody dig her way out? She broke my wall. I mean, I was gonna see if I could leave her trapped inside there. So maybe people were exploiting that and the developer fixed it. <laughs> um, okay, she's gonna eat. I'll let her eat. I'm not that tyrannical. I'm gonna get these plants cut, because we'll have to cut them eventually when we put floors down. Alright, I'm tyrannical enough where you can't relax socially and you're also alone. That's not exactly social. Um, she's decided to build the chair before she builds the building. Interesting. Um, now she's smoothing the floor. Oh, we've run out of wood. Wow, we're really going through it. Oh, right, I mean, we do need 1,190 <laughs> just for those traps. Um, there we go. Must designate mineable rocks. Oh, yeah, I accidentally picked mining orders instead of wood orders. So I need a joy source. Still haven't be built those um, horseshoe pins. I need warm clothes and people have tattered apparel. Well, I'm currently working on all of that. So that is good. Now, oh my god, there's a wild boar in here. 
how are these animals just wandering in? Bloody hell. So I will make this storage room. If my brain can ever figure this one out. Nope, it's not there. Where is leather? Manufactured? Oh, sure. I guess it's manufactured. All textiles. All textiles will go in there. Nice. Lauer is asleep. Well, <laughs> we have wild boars and turkeys running loose. Uh, they're both cleaning, so I'm going to draft them. Now, I'm doing that because stuff can fight back. And if a boar fights back, I want them to be together so they can back each other up. Oh, bloody hell. Took off. There we go. Um, he's butchering. Nice. And she is hunting the turkey. Oh, that we probably got woken up by that. Alright, you're firing across half the bloody colony. You psychopaths. Man, we've got a lot of doors around here. Lauer, stop relaxing socially. No one else is help hanging out there. Uh, I will need a light in here. Didn't really leave enough room for that, but whatever. Whoever is my tailor can just scooch past it. Oh, and I should probably actually put down a tailoring bench. Hand tailor bench. That is the correct one. You know, I have enough electricity that I could use an electrical tailor bench, I just don't want to use the components. Bloody hell, I can't believe I didn't connect the solar panels. I don't even think that's a rookie error, that's just a, a stupid error. Alright, another boar found his way inside. I mean, I don't have this lower area blocked off, so... Animals will find their way inside. But I do have enough steel... That... I'll get these sandbag orders in, now that I've got some steel. I can use rock chunks as defenses, but they're just not as good as a sandbag. A chunk gives you 50% cover, and a sandbag gives you 7... no, uh, 65. So, not actually that much more, but I want every edge I can get in battle. Look at that, we almost have everything built. We've got the northern defense done. Uh, we're shooting another boar. Oh shit. So this boar is getting revenge. I'm gonna get everyone to retreat to a centralized location. Because I don't want Lizzie fighting a boar on her own. Chef, please don't shoot Lizzie. Maniac. Alright, they can all take this thing down together. There we go. Um, Chef's going for the kill. Well, I guess he's the one who's going to cut it up, so maybe he just likes to do beginning to end. Now, I've also got some beds ordered there. Um, I need more wood. Wood is becoming an issue. I'll take some from out here, some from here. I like to take a little bit from all over, just so I don't deforest any particular place. And a little from up there. Oh, she went to bed. I stopped her from relaxing and she just went to sleep. Can't really get mad about that. We're so close to having this stuff done. I just want to get it finished. Oh, two squirrels have made it in. Get them out. There's another squirrel down here. I'll get him as well. If a squirrel goes bad, I'm not too bothered. I'm more concerned with bloody chef shooting across the whole way to try and take out the squirrels. Alright, and there's another boar coming up, but maybe he'll go south. Hopefully he does. That's just way too big for me to block off with a wall right now. I could build a wall straight down here, but then I run the risk of, in battle, this getting damaged and awaking whatever horrors might be inside. Or whatever nothing might be inside. So we had the wind turbine breakdown, that means we'll have to replace the component, and we are getting potatoes. Ah uh, yeah, so replacing components seems to take priority. Fall has begun, and these poor potatoes are just sitting outside. Let's watch this up close. 
Where are you, Lawa? Um, okay. <laughs> Look at her building that. I mean, it is on three times speed, but still. It's impressive. I couldn't put wooden flooring down that quickly. She's leveled up again, now she's a solid professional. Oh hey, she is playing with the wooden horseshoe pins. That's not how I envisioned it. I imagined they would stand here and throw up. Now if people are going for that, they're just going to bonk someone else in the head. There we go, we have finally finished that tailoring area. I'm going to just turn the light off in there because I don't have anyone assigned to tailoring yet. But we've got way more solar panels than we need. We've got northern defenses, we're about to have southern defenses, we've kind of half, not even like a quarter got southern defenses. Got a kitchen and all that from last time, got a hospital. I'll just actually make sure that is a hospital. And some production next time, I will be getting a prison and looking at what else I can get. Thank you for watching.